Love them knives here. LTK, two you knives. Dave Warren, crazy Dave. Dave Warren with two you knives, U.S. sales and service. Got the Kingsman in hand. How do you get a knife that smooth? I don't know. Must be a secret. Thanks for joining us. Got the Kingsman in hand. Had the Custoba. Got that, but I sent it out to get an HRC reading on it and maybe some cut testing. Just for fun, since that's an N690 knife from Two Year Knives. This one is M390. Beautiful knife, marble carbon fiber. Check out the bolsters. Inlaid. So they didn't have to do any weight relieving on this because they've already excavated on both sides and got the moon landing on the front bolster. I like that. I like that design detail there. That may be divisive. I don't know. I, um, but to me, uh, I like it. it. It makes it stand out. This might be nice if you hit this in bronze. You know, anno all the way across. I think it'd be super handsome then. That backspacer, titanium. Pocket clip, titanium. Hardware, titanium. It's blacked out, but it's titanium. Lightweight knife, full-size knife, smooth opening, smooth closing, super smooth closing. Uh, detent, uh, really I can't throw it out easily. Let me try. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, it, it takes quite a bit of force. Of course, fairly light blade, all that. Uh, I would put it, you know, in the general range of about a 5. 5.2 maybe. So, can I fail it? Well, I tried to. And it wouldn't let me, damn it. Okay, here we go again. Okay, um, yeah, I mean, it's not going to be easy to fail, which is good, which shows you that that detent ball is holding it. And, you know, you're pretty much going to have to put enough effort into it that by the time it breaks that detent, it's just going to fly open. Centered up, you see how much thickness you got at the tip? That's pretty reinforced, isn't it? I like this little cutout situation on the blade. It gives it a lot of style, this multi-grind, yet easy to sharpen uh, because you don't have recurves and all kinds of things going on. Got that front choil area up there. Could you sneak up? Yeah, you could sneak up if you wanted to for fine cutting. Yeah, we can sneak up on it. And otherwise. Yeah, it feels sharp. But it's not exactly making the paper leap off the edge. But, um, yeah, it's, it's a working edge. It's a working edge. Which is a lot of production knives are. Just a good working edge. M390. Oh, by the way, Chen Yu, or H-U-I, however you pronounce that, is the designer. 3.5 ounces, 3.5 inch blade, 8 and 3 quarter overall. You see that? Brush satin. Kingsman. It's just, wow, it's so lightweight and the action on this. It just closes up on its own. Let's put it on the scale. What a big mess. All kinds of a 3.56 mess. Basically 101 grams. But if you, you know, you throw down a knife that's the same size, 108 grams. And you kick back over to ounces, 3.81, 
not 3.56. So the paramilitary too, even though it's a 0.46 here, it's a heavier, it's a heavier knife, even though it's not, well, it's about the same size. It's about the same length. So what I'm trying to point out is this is a very lightweight knife, really gentleman carry territory, but it's a full size knife. Okay. This you can argue is a little under three and a half inch. This is a little over three and a half inch. So this is a little under three and a half, over three and a half, over, this is about a 16th over two or eight and a quarter. This is right at eight and a quarter. So it's a little bit bigger and not near as tall. I mean, look at that. So real estate front to back, this is about 0.97 inches. When you get on top of here, you're 1.6 inches. Here, 0.97. Here, 1.1 at the worst. Still, that leaves a 0.5, a half inch difference in front to, to back, you know, real estate. Now, this is a 0.53, okay? So this is thicker in that regard. 13.7 millimeters and blade stock here is 3.8 which is a, a 0.14 of an inch so this is about the exact same blade stock as the paramilitary 2 if you'll check it out it's maybe just a skosh thicker than the pm2 um and it's going to register, let's get in here. Yeah, just a skosh. This is a little bit thinner at 3.6. This being 3.8, a little thicker blade stock. Not a whole lot. Lockup on this is about 20% at best. So this is a pretty early lockup, which a lot of people like, and then some other people hate. So there you go. Can't please everybody. Good balance on the knife. Ceramic bearings. Let me let me show you that. There you go, ceramic bearings, and really not much um, other to show you other than you know, of course, they flattened off the pivot so that it won't turn the entire pivot when you unscrew the pivot screw, which is over here. And then your hardened steel insert, ceramic detent ball, over travel stop. Of course, these into here, your um, spacer, back spacer, and your stop, and then of course, where your stop travels, or your blade travels, yeah. I mean, nothing difficult. These three screws, that's it. Comes apart. Came apart great. Oh, by the way, Kingsman 258. So use the LTK discount for 5% off. Free shipping, I believe. And there was the stats that we gave you earlier. Another picture kind of looked a little bronzish, didn't it? That's why I was thinking if you actually hit it bronze, it might be. It might be even more interesting. I don't know. Uh, comes in a box right here. This is nice plastic box. And nice microfiber cloth. And of course, the plastic knife comes in all together with this cord. Snaps together. Just like that. Nice little package, I think, presentation wise. Man, that thing is just. I don't know, it's weird. I remember the Holt Spectre when I got one in 
and that I was amazed because the action was like this it was just this hydraulic drop and if you have one of these or the envy uh you know put a comment in the comment section let me know what you think because i'm always questioning myself in my own but you know i've i've got a billion knives around here so i'm always handling knives but so when i run into something that's just crazy smooth that's why i took it apart because i go that's got to be multi-row ceramic bearings. I mean, there's something inside. There's a little magic gremlin or something that's making this do this. And it's not. It's, I don't know. I don't know why. It's, I don't know why this happens. This is the second one of these I've had in my hand. And they're identical for action. And such a lightweight knife, but full size. So gentlemen carry, yeah, three and a half ounces. It shouldn't be an issue. And it presents well. Doesn't look terribly threatening, but... You got piercing, you got cutting, you got slicing. Backspacer again, lanyard, area for a lanyard. Nice, you could slide it right in there. Maybe a fancy braided leather lanyard, something like that to kind of keep with that elegant champagne look there. At least you're buying it from, the, from a guy in the U.S. that will service the knife. Stand behind their product. See the cutaway here? Kind of landing zone area. Jimped flipper tab. It's very intuitive in the hand. Yeah. I, and the detent is appropriate. Obviously, I couldn't fail it, right? See, that's just... And, you know, I would chalk that up to pressure on the lock bar, but the thing is, it's not, it's not there. It's not more... My fingers are not there. This is... A bolster lock basically which no war of the world's going on here no tale of two cities it looks like that and you flip it over and you go oh yeah that's the same knife yeah solid feeling in the hands the ergos are really good I mean it feels good can you move up yeah you can move up but uh, yeah palm swell I mean yeah choil palm swell come back I mean, you can look at the shape of that handle and you know it's, it's good in the hand. Back here. Um, if you have huge hands, well, the canoe ends right here. So your, fing your pinky's going to be out here. Uh, mine barely gets in there, but it's snug in it. I've got good purchase on it. I've got good purchase on it. So, oh yeah, I, I mean, I really like this knife. Yeah, it's probably going to be my new favorite Tuya knife, and here we go again. It was the Hive, it was the Envy, it was the Thorax, but I'll tell you what, it's, uh, there's so many good knives in, the, in, their, in their palette. And then, of course, the guy that does all the work and gets no rewards, the Bruiser. I mean, I, I use this all the time, and he probably desperately needs sharpening. He's been through a move bunches of boxes and stuff just brood brutalized brutalized but the one i have not brutalized is my cebu another two knife model michael atorma my buddy and try this one out if you haven't ever check out the titanium hardware on it pops beautiful stuff um so go go to the site support our usa guy with these beautiful, well-made knives, and uh, see what you think. Put it in your hand. There's a Two Your Knife Facebook page. I'll give you the link to that. Two Your Knife Lounge, Two Your Knife Facebook page, uh, Two Your Knife Instagram, and their actual website store. They're there. They're there when you need them. Take care. You know what we do. We love them knives, you guys. Stay sharp.